Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step on how to install Windows Server 2025 Core. If you are looking for a lightweight and efficient server solution without the cost of a graphical user interface, Windows Server 2025 Core is the right solution. To begin with, I will show you how to download and install Windows Server 2025. In Google search, type Windows Server 2025 download and from the search results, select the second link that will take us directly to the Windows Server 2025 ISO download site. Here you will find many languages. Download the appropriate version for the language you want. The ISO file will be downloaded. You can wait until the download is complete. The download may take some time depending on your internet quality. After the download is complete, I will move to the next step which is how to install Windows Server Core on your computer. And I will explain to you how to install Windows Server 2025 Core step-by-step. Step. Once you boot into the installation wizard, choose the language you want to work with on Windows Server 2025 and click Next button. You have the option to choose the keyboard language and input method, select the appropriate one for you and click Next. Select the Install Windows Server option. You also have to select the approval to delete everything as this process will lead to formatting your drive and click next. Here, if you have a product key, enter it or click on I don't have a product key to complete the Windows Server installation. Here, select the basic version you want to install so that it is without the desktop experience. You can choose between standard evaluation or data center evaluation. I will select the standard evaluation option without the desktop experience and click on next click on the accept button to accept the license terms to install windows server 2025 then select the disk on which you want to install windows or create a partition select what you want and click on next after that click on the install button to start the windows server core installation process on your computer the installation may take a few minutes Wait for it to finish and the server will restart after everything is installed. After completing the installation of Windows Server 2025, the first thing you need to do is set a password for the new server. Press Enter on OK and enter the password and confirm the password and press Enter. You will see that the password has been changed successfully. Then select option number one to select from the available diagnostic data setting options. We will now learn how to configure the network settings. But I will open the main server to know the IP address range. Open the command prompt window and enter the command IP config and it will show you the server's IP address. Go back to the new server to continue configuring the network settings. In the command prompt and through the server configuration tool, Select option eight, which is for network settings. Then choose the network adapter, usually listed as ethernet, and select option one, which is the index number for your network adapter. Then enter or select option one to configure the IP address. Enter S for a static IP address or D for a dynamic IP address. If you choose a static IP address, enter S. Enter the IP address you want and click enter. Then enter the subnet mask and press enter. Then enter the default gateway and press enter. Press enter to continue. You can enter the network settings again by selecting eight to set the DNS IP address. Enter the network index number, which is one for us. Then enter option number two to set the DNS IP address. Then enter the preferred DNS server and optionally set an alternate DNS server and click enter to save these settings. Once you are done with the settings, MS config will automatically run again, and this is how you can manage the server. The next step is to add the server to the domain, so enter option number one. To join the domain, select D for the domain and press enter. Then enter the name of the domain you want to join. Then enter the credentials of the domain user who has permission to join the server in the domain, and then enter the password for the domain you want to join. After successfully joining the domain, we now have the option to change the computer name. If you want to do so, enter the letter Y, then enter the new computer name, 
and then enter the password for the administrator account to change the computer name. After that, restart the server when prompted. Enter Y to agree to restart the server, then press Control alt delete and log into the server using the administrator account. Now, you will find that the domain has already been joined. Also, the server name was changed to the address we entered. Later, I will explain to you how to manage this server through this window. Open the main server and open Active Directory users and computers to verify that the core server has joined the directory. And by selecting the organizational unit called computer, you will find that the core server has indeed joined the domain. Windows Server Core is a powerful and lightweight option designed for environments where performance, security, and resource efficiency are a priority. In the upcoming videos, I will delve into the features of Windows Server 2025 Core and show you how to manage it efficiently and some advanced configurations that you can implement. If you found this video useful, please like and share it with others who may benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos about Windows Server Core and more. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.